Right then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through what I feel you need to do a conversion. Some people may, to do this conversion, sorry. Some people may agree, some people may disagree. But this is what I feel is a must-have and an optional to take from a Nissan Micra. i point out there because it, it's still out there at the moment. So, the must-have list. Look at this, not expense spared. I'm using a little magnet as a pointer. God. Oh, engine and box, you know. It's the whole point of the conversion, isn't it? let's face it. So you, you need your engine and box. You need the wiring loom. Um, so again, that that is entirely up to you how much you take of that, and I'll go into that in the optional in the optional bits. Uh, you'll need the drive shafts because um, you'll need the inner pot joints. So again, you can get custom drive shafts made, but you'll certainly need the inner pot joints um, if you, even if you want to make. Because I will be getting custom drive shafts made. Um, there'll be mini outer and micro inner obviously for the box uh, you'll need the gear selector and linkage again you know a lot of this is going to have to be modified but it, you know you're going to need it anyway so make sure you remove it uh, you'll need the clutch pedal the reason for the clutch pedal is uh, the mini as standard uses uh, hydraulics uh, for the clutch um, uses fluid and obviously the micro doesn't it uses cable so the top of the micro pedal is almost like a little hook that hooks a cable on like on most clutch operated uh clutch operated all cars you know all manual cars clutch operated i mean all um cable clutch operated cars usually have a little hook that the cable hooks into so you'll need to take the you'll need to cut that off and modify it onto your existing pedal usually the way that people go uh what else have we got you'll need the clutch and the throttle cable i'll probably be buying you but that uh I'll take them for now and see see how, see what condition they're in. Uh, you'll need the ECU. Again, it goes with the wiring room, really. Um, fuse boxes. So there's uh, the Micro has three. Looking at it, maybe, yeah. I think it's got two or three, depending on which uh, which style of, um, of car it is, again, uh, which is this, leads on to this, basically. So if you have what's called NATS, Nissan Anti-Theft System, uh, which is basically a mobiliser, you will need the key and transponder. Um, so the transponder is in the key, so you'll need the you'll, that'll need to be near the um, the reader to for the car to start. Otherwise, it won't start. Uh, the ECU will tell it not to. So that is more or less your must-haves, uh, in my opinion. My opinion, you know, I can't stress that enough. And then we'll move on to the optionals. So the optional intake and exhaust manifold. You can make them fit, um, but I mean, I could. I'll offer up a uh, an inlet and an exhaust on this, um, so you can see they don't fit. They don't fit at all. They need a lot of modification. You might as well go down the custom route. There are people that already make them. Fusion Fabrications and Gizfab already make exhaust manifolds. Fusion also make inlet manifolds, or you can custom make one. But you could use that as a reference, or you could use that to chop up. Uh, throttle body. So again, this will the this will determine what sort of um, what system you're going for. Whether you're going for injection, carb, etc. You know, throttle bodies. Um, I'll be going for I'll be going for throttle body. So that'll be going into my must-have list. Um, and the reason I'll be going for throttle body is it's just easier. The, the wiring loom's there. The car is meant to run it. I, I really don't want to run aftermarket management, etc. Not yet, anyway. Possibly in the future, throttle bodies or throttle bodies. Um, so yeah, the throttle body. So on the Nissan Micra, it actually sits on top of the manifold inside the engine bay. Uh, mine will sit side on, um, just purely because of space, uh, really. I, I suppose I could have it sat on top, but if I have it sat side on, it'll be easier to run a, a, a feed to it and, and the filter, so it'll probably be sideways. Um, again, ignition barrel. So this most of this is then going on to how much of the wiring loom you want to take, how much of the mini stuff you want to use. I'm torn between the two. I kind of just want the engine um, and a couple of little bits to be micro and everything else to be mini. But I know a lot. I know there's quite a lot of people that go, "Ah, sod all that. Use the micro stuff. It's better." So, so again, so you'll need if you want, you can use the ignition barrel. You can use the clocks. They're going to work, aren't they? The alternator. So the alternator on a Clubman um, does fit in its original position. The alternator on the standard round nose does not fit. Um, if you've seen my previous uh, videos, I've actually bought a Daihatsu Chiron alternator, which is about 
that big. No, so it's 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 fairly fairly small to be fair, uh, and the reason for that is that I can still mount it at the front where it needs to be. So yeah, so you could use the alternator. Uh, you could use the stalks if you wanted to, the wiper and the um, the wash white flash, and you could use the uh, indicators. Uh, ignition barrel lot twice because you've got two of them obviously. <laughs> wiper motor. A lot of people really do like the Nissan Micro uh, wiper motor. I've pulled it off that car. Listen, if I don't use it, I don't use it. I've got it in a box on her. Uh, coolant pipes. I always think it's important to get, uh, and just to add on to that, coolant pipes and brackets and things like that, and bolts, take them. You've got If you've got the car there and you're breaking the car afterwards or you're selling bits off the car anyway, keep as much as you can because even if it doesn't come in handy, in the engine bay it might come in handy somewhere else. If you can, keep it. That's the way I see that. So definitely keep as many coolant pipes or vacuum pipes or you know um, nuts, bolts, brackets, anything, because you can cut them up and make other things. Um, and then the fuel pump. So again, depending on obviously what I've been speaking about. So I've still got them on the bench here. I've got my SPI fuel pump and I've got my micro fuel pump. I'm not gonna pick that up because it's still got a bit of fuel in it. <laughs> um, so again, depending on, on what you're doing, uh, you might be upgrading the fuel pump you might be uh, you might be doing this into an MPI mini, uh, which in turn you wouldn't need the fuel pump really. So yeah, so that that's in my opinion the must-haves and the optional extras. There's debates about whether you need this and whether you need that, but I think that's probably a pretty comprehensive list. You know, you know, it, some people will be using everything, uh, and some people are using the bare minimum. I'm gonna try and go sort of like in the middle, really, uh, just to try and make my life it whatever's easier, really. So, whoop. Um, yeah. So I think that's more or less it. So that is if you was gonna put. Uh, that's just to give you a rough guide. It, it probably could correlate eh, transfer over to uh, a lot of other vehicle, a lot of other engines. If you're going to put them in minis, that's probably stuff you're going to need. This is just what you're going to need out of the micro, though. Don't forget, you're going to need a lot more things. You're going to need suffering. You know, I'm not going to go into that, but that's that's the way I see it. So I hope that was helpful.